hard to believe that 15 years ago when I was proposing that Estonia uh, more actively computerize itself, that there was actually opposition to this. Uh, uh, and, uh, today, we see that, in fact, many of the innovations that were pioneered by Estonia, be it uh, e-government or mobile phone parking, e-elections, uh, have become fairly commonplace throughout the world. But in terms of uh, your interest, what, uh, what we see, of course, is that uh, we've all witnessed uh, that, the, uh, that technology has uh, completely changed the, changed the media environment. And Marshall McLuhan said that uh, the medium is the message than uh, in a number of places in the world, not yet in Estonia, but certainly in the United States. The message for newspapers and the medium is, uh, the message is an obituary, or maybe an obituary, or a necrologue in Estonia. Um, that is to say, the medium uh, really is beginning to define uh, what it is and how it is that we, uh, we and what messages we receive. And in fact, I think uh, while uh, your interests here, of course, uh, are a little different, but if we think about what is going to happen with the newspaper and the magazine in the future, I think that there's uh, a lot more than simply looking at technology, but that isn't your interest today, but I think it's worth keeping in mind. Certainly, the uh, changes that have taken place outside of this, the sort of social side, which uh, the debate of newspapers, the question is, uh, is more technological, how we can put um, linear, analog, or nonlinear information uh, that we have on the radio, on the internet, uh, movies, uh, all into, not to mention games, of course, all into one box, which is what the consumer wants. The consumer doesn't want to have all kinds of different things. The consumer wants to have one place that he can turn to, both for information as well as entertainment, um, and that is, uh, that is clearly the, the way of the future. And we call this, of course, convergence. Um, in the case of convergence, we no longer see competition between uh, one, uh, one channel with another channel, or one medium with another medium, mm, with uh, a computer versus television, but we see um, in the, from the point of view of the uh, content developer, really access to which, which, which source, which medium, that is the issue for the content developer, for the content provider, which we see, of course, in the case of uh, the uh, convergence between uh, the computer and the, the internet. The, uh, the media consumer, um, I guess first and foremost, the television viewer, uh, no longer is a passive consumer, uh, but has become a uh, participant in the creation of what the media is, to basically to vote on, the, on, the, on programs, to, uh, to comment on them, to change them, to take extract clips, um, and I think it's a very positive development. Uh, the Russian writer Viktor Pelevin said uh, years ago that television is a form of uh, remote control of the viewer, which may have been true back when uh, the television, in fact, was the only source of audiovisual communication with wide, uh, that had wide access. But today, I think that the remote control is back remote control, maybe not back, but is for the first time really in the hands, again, of the viewer and not in terms of the people broadcasting. Because we have choice. We can really choose what we want.